How's it going everyone? Thank you for stopping by. They call me Kane. It's a pleasure on being with you today. We are starting a Let's Play series of Kindergarten. Do I know what it is? Absolutely not. I do not know what this game is. I'm going completely blind. I have zero knowledge of this game. But this game was recommended by you viewers in the Discord. Um, in our Discord. <laughs> so if you ever want to recommend anything for the channel, any videos or any games you would like to see played on the channel, I am always open, open for suggestions. You can leave it in the description or not the description you can leave it in the comment section down below or you can join our discord server and i'll leave the link in the description below other than that guys this is our road our road to 500 subscribers can we make it we're only so we're, we're really close i don't know exactly the number but we're close to 500 subscribers so like i would say for any series that is starting up on the channel please hit that like button and subscribe most importantly hit that like button because it puts it in the youtube algorithm and we can share the kindergarten experience to others as we play through kindergarten blind all right so we have day one okay we have two files here we have a piggy bank with five dollars like i said i'm gonna give you this experience at face value because i have no idea what to do and have no idea what's gonna go on so we're gonna be learning together as we go unless you've already seen it then you already know what's gonna happen so I see five dollars here in a piggy bank and I see zero out of 25 what maybe looks like cards we will click on file one since you know we have not to Monday <laughs> Mondays am I right all right it look Looks like you haven't played before. Would you like to go through the tutorial? Use space bar or left click to make sh make your selection. Yes, we would love to go through the tutorial. I have no idea what we're getting ourselves into. Welcome to kindergarten. The school day is separated into five separate time intervals. The schoolyard, morning time, lunch, recess, and show and tell. You have show and tell every day? <laughs> I would fail at that. Uh, most characters want something done during the day. Try and pick one character to help each day. Completing a character's task all the way will unlock that character's special item. Special items can be reused infinitely. Every day is exactly the same as the one before. It is always Monday. Okay. <laughs> Only money and special items are saved from day to day. Characters will respond differently to you depending on what items or what items you have and what decisions you have made throughout the day let's continue all right on screen elements here one and two one out of two use spacebar to left click to continue all right so what do we have here we have the amount of money you currently are carrying two dollars and fifty cents at first i thought that was two hundred and fifty dollars that'd be insane for a kindergartner uh, apples represent how many actions you can take in a room. Okay, that's good. Items in your inventory will appear here. Fantastic. All right. This is dialogue for the tutorial. The person currently speaking. Yes, what the person is saying. Absolutely possible responses to what the character is saying. This response required an item. Uh, this resp response requires money. And this resp response is used with an apple. Okay. All right. This is kind of this is kind of cool. I'll be real with you. This is kind of cool so far. Uh, I haven't played a game like this before, really, on the channel. Use was um, spacebar to left click, interact with people and objects, return, enter to use an apple, and pick up twenty five cents. Okay. Use backward slash to open your planner. Okay. Use escape to pause. Let's see if I remember that. Tips. Once you are out of apples, the bell will ring and you will move on to the next area. Okay, so the next stage. If you are outside of the area you started in, the bell will ring when you have one apple left. If you can't find a way to use all of your apples, use enter to consume the rest of them and continue to the next area. Take a look at hints page sometimes. Okay. Alright. Good. So here, here's us. Hello. How are us? This is us. <laughs> we look good. This is the piggy bank, right? Hello. Piggy bank. $5. Press down to take money. Press up to put money back. Okay, cool. We can take and use. What is this? This is uh, Star Wars poster. Um, Force Awakens. Uh, Rise of Skywalker. I, you know, I don't know. Is this a bed? This must be our house. Okay, so this is our house. Let's go to school. Am I ready to start another day of kindergarten? <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We are ready. All right. 
Okay, so we're here. Okay, hello. Who are you? Screw off, kid. I'm busy. I don't remember ever a child saying screw off to me in, in the kindergarten. Hi, my friends call me Nugget. Or they would have if I had any. Nugget knows no love or friendship since Billy went missing. I'll be your friend. What happened to Billy? You'll get none from me. No, what happened to Billy? Billy is missing. Poor Nugget misses Billy, but Nugget cannot help him now. It is too late. Does Nugget talk in the third person? Do you know where he is? Nugget does not know. Nugget knows who knows. Oh, so Nugget does know. Who does who, who does he know? Your question is upset, poor Nugget. You push too hard. Nugget needs his pills. Gulp. Kindergartens have pills? Much better. What were we talking about? Billy. Billy who? I don't know what you're talking about. We were just talking about him. You're speaking normally now? What's in those pills? We were not. The principal has forbidden me from speaking about it. And if you press me any further, I'll report you to him. Uh, I do not want any trouble on the first day of school. No more talking now. Shoo. Okay, that was weird. So Billy. Seems like a character. I don't even want to make a comment about what's above my head right now. All right. Hey there, cutie. I'm Cindy. Want to be my boyfriend? Uh, no. Too straightforward. <laughs> Too straightforward. I don't like it. You got to play hard to catch. I'm sorry. Oh, um, hey, I'm Lily. You've probably heard about what happened to my brother Billy, right? Uh, I have not. You haven't? It's been all over the news. He went missing a few days ago. Sorry to hear that. Thanks. That makes you one of the few people that even seems to care. Ever since he went missing, people either ignore me or insult me. Sydney has been trying to put gum in my hair. That's the girl who asked to be our wife. Why? I don't know. But if I were you, I'd stay away from her. She's really mean. Thank you for the tip. That is noted. Hello, man. I'm Monty. If you need something, come talk to me. Odds are I can get it for you for the right price. What I need and what I sell changes throughout the day, so come see me often. I want to buy something. We have no money, so I want to buy some, sell some. I don't want anything. We don't have anything to sell either. And then who are you? I'm Jerome. I don't think you're cool enough to talk to me. Fair enough. Uh, hello, Big Bodacious. I'm Mrs. Applegate, of course. I have been well endowed. Mm-hmm. With excellent teaching qualities. You sure have. <laughs> All right. And this must be the creepy janitor. How you doing there, Sonny? Don't mind the old janitor here. Just sweeping up after you silly crittens. Crittens? Sweepy, sweepy, sweepy. Stop talking to the creepy janitor. That's a mop. Ah, so it is. I did not see what I just said to him. I'll be mopping your blood off of it if you don't skedaddle. Jesus Christ. All right. So, <laughs> mostly introductions, right? Let's see if there's anything to, like, uh, do here. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like morning time is A-OK. -okay. We can go ahead and eat our apples for money. 50 cents. A whole dollar. Okay, children, it's time to start the day. Everyone head inside for morning time. You know what? Let's just turn down the music. Just slightly. It might be a banger, but let's, <laughs> let's calm down. Right, let's go inside. Here we go. To the next area. Good morning, children. It's time for you to pick your buddies for morning time. Or you can be sad, pathetic, and alone. As long as you're the best you, you can be. Let's go find a partner. Where are we? I kind of like the man that can get us anything. Like, you know, kind of like uh, if you need McDonald's, I can get it for you type thing. Like the longest yard here. I'll, I respect that. What? You want to be my morning buddy? I ain't got time for that nonsense. So unless you're bull buying or selling something, get lost. You know, I actually want to do check out your buy. Considering we have, uh, look, we have a dollar. Yo-yo, a screwdriver, cigarettes. Do you have cigarettes on you, my man? Screwdriver seems deadly. A yo-yo seems something. Never mind. We'll wait on that. What can I do for you? Nothing right now. I'm guessing our partner is going to be 
this lonely gentleman here on this turtle mat? I don't know. Oh, it's Nugget. Nugget does not wish to spend morning time with you. Nugget is very busy. Right, I'm not even going to argue with you, Nugget. I'll be real with you. Jerome doesn't like us. We could ask the girl that wanted to be our girlfriend and boyfriend. Actually, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Let's ask. I forgot what this gentleman's name was. Why the hell do you think I would want to be your morning buddy? Fair enough. <laughs> oh. Wait, can we touch any of this stuff? What is this? Hey! Don't go snooping around other people's cubbies. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, dude, I love cubbies. I used to have a cubby. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, but I'm spending my morning time with my boyfriend. This is your boyfriend? Are you kidding me? Look at him. He has gray hair. He's like 67 years old. Jerome, you know, you're my last bet. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I don't really do the whole morning buddy thing anymore. My brother Billy was normally my buddy, but he's missing. It's very political in kindergarten. I did not know that. All right, Jerome, what about you? Dude, you know you're not cool enough to talk to me, let alone be my morning buddy. Besides, Monty is going to hook me up with a sweet yo-yo. Monty, I'm going to buy that yo-yo from you right now. Here's what's for sale. Give me the yo-yo. Yo-yos. Don't know... I uh, don't know what it is about these things, but Jerome loves them. You can have it for one dollar. What do you say? Absolutely. New hint. New hint. Okay. Here's what's for sale. No, no, no. Look. What can I do for you? Nothing right now. Look. All right. So we have hints pop up. I forgot what that was. I don't know what key it was. So now that we have the yo-yo, let's go ahead and impress Jerome with our yo-yo skills. Hey, Jerome. I got this yo-yo. Oh, come on, he told me he was going to save that for me. You can have it if you will be my buddy. You've got a deal. And since we're going to be friends, I think you should do something to help me out, you know? As a friend? What's that? You know that creepy old janitor? He stole my laser pointer this morning. Said it was too bright and shiny for his old eyes. I need your help to get it back. What do I do? When you're ready, I'll give you a hall pass. You can use it to get by the hall monitor. Once you're past him, head to the janitor's closet. My laser should be in there somewhere. Wow, you uh, have great direction. I can do that. Awesome. It should be in the box in a box somewhere. Just grab it and go. Don't linger there too long. He checks back frequently. Just let me know when you're ready and I'll give you a pass. I won't be able to distract the teacher for long. So head straight for the door. Don't talk to anyone on your way out. I'm ready. Go distractor. Uh, just give me a minute, Jerome. I want to check everyone's cubbies here. Hey, don't go snooping around. Understand. What happens if I talk to the teacher? Her bosoms. Go find a morning buddy and you'll be, uh, or you'll be an outcast like Nugget. Okay, that's fine. So, Jerome, I'm ready to go. You ready to do this? <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Okay, here we go. We're sending it. Planner update. Fantastic. Okay, this is the hall monitor. Hello, hall monitor. Not so fast there, little dude. I'm going to need to see your hall pass before I let you by. Here it is. A principal pass. Whoa, yeah. Go do whatever, man. Nice. All right, so that's the bathroom. This is something. I don't know what the hell this is. I need something to unscrew it. Walk away. What is this? This is the door to the cafeteria. Understand. What is this? This is, this is the janitor's office. Fantastic. Okay. What? Is there blood? It's a bucket that is catching the blood from that thing on the table. This would be a truly vile thing to dump on someone's head. Take the bucket. The bell rang. I got the bucket. What is this? There's a note. A Monster Man card. And I have a $5 bill in this box. Ooh, we only have one apple left. I kind of want to get the laser pointer, though. Is that a gun? Stolen stuff. This box is too high to reach. I need to find a way to get it down before I can look inside. Okay. Uh, Jerome, I'll be real with you, man. <laughs> I'll be real with you, Jerome. I don't see no laser pointer in here. And I'm not tall enough to get into the stolen stuff, but I am tall enough to get what's in this juicy box here. Take the money. Take the note. Take the Monster Man card. Ooh. 
There's a note. A Monster Man card. We should take the note. Let's take the note. I'll take the note, but I can't read it because I'm a kindergarten. Oh my god. Oh, bummer. <laughs> god. Oh, Jesus. What the hell are you doing in my closet? No one's allowed in the janitor's office. Quote, janitor's closet, except the goddamn janitor. Sorry. Sorry, ain't gonna cut it, kiddo. Sorry, ain't gonna cut it at all. Um, I'm really sorry. Me too, but not really. Oh my god, is he gonna kill us? What are you sorry? So that's what happens in this game. You get murdered by a janitor. Okay. So when the bell rings, we get the hell out of there is what I'm guessing. It's time for you to pick some buddies. Okay. Go find a partner. All right. So what we're going to do is want to buy what we need to buy. So let's buy our yo-yo. Yes. Deal. Yo-yo has been bought. I don't need anything else for right now. Talk to Jerome. Let him know that we got the yo-yo. Get the hall pass. Right? Right? I can do that. Right? Got it. Cool. I'm ready. Okay, there we go. Leave the classroom. Okay, yeah, we're gonna leave the classroom. Don't worry about us. I wonder if he's being distracted that I can grab what I need to grab, like in the cubbies as well. Here's my pass. Nice, okay. Go inside. So we can take the bucket of whatever, or we can actually take what we need, which is this. I will not take the note. However, the Monster Man card is a collectible, but the money could be valuable. I'll take the money and I will leave this area. Hey man, you heard the bell? Go back to your class. All right, let's go back to class. Well, did you get it? What? Okay, kids, we all heard the lunch bell. Let's go down to the cafeteria for a nutritious meal. And here we're having slop today. How exciting. <coughs> we'll talk at lunch. All right, let's go to lunch. <laughs> Assignment failed? I didn't see that. Hey, kid, over here. Well, did you get it? I couldn't get it. Aw, oh, man, that's a shame. Looks like I'm just going to have to deal with whatever punishment I get from this. You can keep the pass. I'll see you around. Cool. We get to keep the pass. We got freedom, baby. Let's see what uh, this man wants. No way a worm like you was going to be sitting with me. I didn't want to sit with you anyways. <laughs> uh, that's slop biscuits. Let's see. What's glasses doing here? I figured you'd be seeing me around. Slop is no good, and I don't think anyone is brave enough to try a biscuit from the janitor. Dumb old man can't even spell it right. Here's what's for sale. A salad, McGlob silly meal. Okay. No, 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 no. I don't need anything right now. Let's let's talk to the lady here. Sorry, sweetie. This spot is reserved for my boyfriend. Go sit with Ugly Lily over there. Ugly Lily? <laughs> yeah, Ugly Lily. Hey, why don't you do me a little favor? Like what? If I give you this piece of gum, would you put it in her hair? I'll make it worth your while. Bonus points if you can do it and come back to me before lunch is over. Uh, no. I'm not being mean to the lady that lost her brother. Fine, I don't need you anyways. There are plenty of other stupid boys willing to do this for me. Just walk away from that. Oh, this is Nugget. No one ever sits with poor Nugget. Nugget! Nugget does not have any friends. I don't know why I'm starting to give everyone a, like, a voice here. Uh, Lily? Please don't sit with me. I don't want to talk to anyone until they find my brother. I mean, it's kind of rude. <laughs> lunch lady, how are you doing there, Sonny? Want, want some tasty, nutritious slop for lunch? Uh, what's in it? It's an old family recipe. Lots of herbs and spices and salt, and then about 89% the principal secret ingredient. 89% is a lot. Oh, it's not that much. Supposedly, it keeps the slop in regulation with the government's new health standards. Uh, well, what's the secret ingredient? I can't tell you that. It's a secret. <laughs> I have no idea what it is either. 
You're feeding us a seasoned mystery ingredient? Uh, but the seasoning is so good. It's the best part. I'm not eating it. Well, that's your call. I can't make you eat it. I'd love it if you did, but it's fine. Just move along. Hmm. And I'm not even going to touch the, the janitor. What is this? It's a garbage can. I'm not going to dig through it to find stuff. Okay, fair enough. So, you know, we could have been mean to Lily. And I, we can't talk. You know what? Let's do the biscuits. Is this biscuits really spelled wrong? I guess it is. Uh, biscuit balls. Get your biscuit balls here. Get them while they're hot. Biscuit balls? My own recipe. Come up with it after a little incident that happened recently. This is like South Park, man. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> it feels like it. Uh, what's What incident? Oh, well, you see, that little girl's dog, well, I told her she couldn't have him in school, so I brought him to my closet till her mom could pick her up. Okay. Little thing bit me, and, well, <laughs> he escaped. Yeah, he escaped. Are you eating the dog? What? No. Nonsense. And the fact that the little doggy's name was Biscuit is just a cruel irony. Just forget about it. Get away from my stand. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not messing with that man. So we do have the hall pass. Can we actually leave? Hey, stop. You can't leave until lunch is over. Okay. So we'll, uh-oh. We'll check out here with 625. Okay, kiddos. That's the recess bill. Go burn off all the delicious slop you just ate. All right. So we're here at recess. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that? All right, let's start from the left to... No, let's start from the right to the left. How about that? We don't need anything to buy. Let's talk to Jerome. How's Jerome doing? Don't bother me, kid. I'm trying to figure this out. Figure what out? It's a, it's this riddle about these stupid duck things. Apparently, if you shake them in the right order, something is supposed to happen. What's the riddle? Go twice the duck that's furthest south, then two blue before red. After, return to the first duck, then blue. Get it wrong, and you're dead. Holy hell. Okay. So go twice the duck that's furthest south, which would be the yellow. So two time yellow, then two blue before the red. After, return to the first duck, and then blue. Get it wrong, and you're dead. Okay, okay. Good luck solving that. Okay, we, can, we might be able to do it. Quack. No, we gotta start with the south. <laughs> Fuck. Right? What's the riddle? Go twice with the duck furthest to the south. Okay, got it. Thanks. Here we go. Okay, look. Okay. And then you go for the two blue. Before the red. And you hit back to the yellow. Oh, oh my god. Okay, well, we died in that situation. Apparently, you know, ducks kick ass. <laughs> okay, I kind of like this, though. Okay, don't bother me, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to I I hear it again. What's the riddle? Go twice to the duck that's furthest south. Then two, bl bef two blue before red. After, return to the first duck. Then blue. Get it wrong. You're dead. Okay, so maybe I go... Maybe I go like this. Watch this. Please. He's done it. He's he did not do it. Okay, he did not do that. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That was not the solution. I, I appreciate the effort. <laughs> okay. Hello, Lily. I know he did it. I don't know why, but I know he did. Okay. Go away, I'm spending recess with my boyfriend. Whatever, Sydney. Where's your boyfriend at, huh? Huh? Why can't I go into the sandbox? Why well, gotta walk all the way around to the sandbox? Don't fall into the hole. That's probably how you die. Hello, uh, uh, Nugget. Behold, the Nugget Cave. It is very deep and very dark. What secrets does it hold? Do you want to find out? Sure. I regret this decision. 
<laughs> I do. I regret that decision. Jumping into holes you can't see the bottom of is generally considered a bad idea. I agree. I, 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 I agree. Let's see what uh, old man Fred wants here. Hello. Get out of here. I'm busy. You don't look busy. I am. What's the point? It's no fun being a bully when no matter how many kids you beat up, my dad still isn't coming back. A little bit sentimental there. <laughs> oh, new hint. I miss everything about him. Even the way he used to drink excessively. Uh, I'm going to walk away right now. Okay. So gathering information about these people is... It, it seem There's a monster car lying on the ground here? Yeah! Awesome. Cool. What does the teacher got to say? Go play while you are still young and thin. Let's hear that riddle one more time. Okay, what's the riddle? Go twice. Go twice. The duck that's furthest south. Then two. Then two blue before red. After, return to the first duck. Then blue. Okay, so what if I did... Okay, th th this is bad. What if I did... What if I did... Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Before red. That's not how you do it. <laughs> That's not how you do it. I don't know how that riddle goes. I'm not good with riddles as much as Jerome is. I'll, I'll be real with you, but we will pick up this monster card. All right. You know, we'll, we'll talk to, uh, I forgot his name, but we will talk to him and we'll see. Let's see what's for sale. A monster card. Oh my God. Oh yeah. This is the Holy Knight card. He's pretty powerful in the world of monster man. He'll run you $12 and 50 cents. Oh my God. I don't have that. All right. So we're good. Checking out. That's the bell. Let's all head inside for show and tell. All right. I hope everyone had a good recess. Let's all get ready for show and tell. Why don't you go first? What did you bring? <laughs> uh, I brought a hall pass. No, I brought a card. A Monster Man card. Oh, come on. You have to be more creative than that. Well, we're going to skip you. Who's next? Well, children, that was fun. Little show and tell. Oh, there's the bell. I hope you all had a fun day today, and I'll see you all tomorrow. All right. Hell of a day. Very, very busy at kindergarten. Did not think it would be uh, that intense. We've died like four or five times. Monster Man cards. Literally grass. Cool. Money earned $7.25. We'll go straight to the biggie bank for $10. Day completed. Monday. Again. But that's going to do it in today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. Day one of kindergarten. If you did, you already know what to do. And I will see you in Monday again.